Simplicity is what we're all about here at Ben's Menu, and this is a really simple chocolate cake. It's what you put on top that takes it to that next level. I'm gonna do strawberries and cream, because chocolate, strawberries, and cream is a match made in heaven. This is a boiled chocolate cake, and literally everything goes into this little pot here. We boil it up, put it in there, and put it in the oven. Doesn't get any simpler than that. As I said, everything's gonna go in here. We start with butter. In goes our butter, about 200 grams. A quarter of a cup of dark chocolate. Now, if you're not a big fan of dark chocolate, you can put in dairy milk chocolate, but I love dark chocolate, and a good quality dark chocolate. Turn our pan on. Then our cocoa, a quarter of a cup cocoa. Bicarb, teaspoon of bicarb soda. About a cup of water. And like making any sort of cake, you're really creating wet ingredients to go with dry ingredients. Everything's melted and come together, so I'm gonna add my sugar now. One and a half cups of sugar. I'll stir that in again until that sugar has started to dissolve. This is an old classic. Boiled cakes are old classics. They're simple, really tasty, and nothing can really go wrong. It's not like a normal cake where you have to beat things together and get them nice and light and fluffy. It's all in one pot, user friendly, but still a great result. And my sugar's dissolved, I can turn the heat off. I'm just gonna give it a few minutes to cool down before I add my eggs in. I don't wanna scramble my eggs. Just a couple of minutes off the heat, just to cool. Our chocolate base has cooled down enough now to add our eggs, so one at a time. And you may ask me why do people always tell you to break one egg at a time? I don't really know. I think it's because you have more control over whisking that one egg in than if you've got more than one in there. But I don't know. Once all your eggs are mixed in, we're gonna add in our flour. One and a half cups of self-raising flour. Go straight into our bowl or our saucepan and we whisk that in. See, I wasn't lying when I told you. It was all about simplicity. Once all your flour is mixed in and you've got a nice smooth mixture, we need to transfer it into our cake tin. Now I'm using a silicon one, so it's non-stick, but just to be safe, I'm gonna add a little bit of baking paper on the bottom. So the best way to do that, cut a little piece of baking paper off with the smallest scissors in the world. Fold it in half. In half again. It's like you're making a katouche, or what we would call a katouche, which is a little lid. And once you get down to there, measure from the middle of the cake tin out to the edge. Cut that bit off. Unfold your little piece of baking paper, and you'll have a nice little round, which will fit in the bottom. And then you can pour your mixture in on top of that. As I've said, this is a really basic cake mixture. It's a yummy cake on its own, but this is another opportunity for you to pimp it up a little bit. If you've got some blueberries and you wanted to put them in there, chocolate and blueberries are a great combination. Some raspberries, some other chocolates, so some chocolate chips could go in there as well. I'm just gonna go with plain because I'm gonna dress it later. 